<laughs> uh, I was just loving when you record a whole video and then the camera wasn't on. So yeah. Unless you're one of these guys, more often than not, you're not the VIP in the studio. Your job as an audio engineer is to cater to the VIP. In this video, I'm gonna outline three concepts that will drive successful studio sessions, help you get clients, and keep those clients coming back. Now let's break up these three concepts into three categories. The do's, the don'ts, and the mindsets. And let's just get the negativity out of the way. The don'ts. Don't invest in equipment that you don't need. Nine times out of 10, only other engineers will actually care about it. And it's an upgrade that you probably don't even need. It will look shiny and nice for the first couple of days, but then you will realize no one cares. So don't spend your emergency fund on a U87. <laughs> Keep using that beautiful SM7B you got over there, which I sure will. Get it? Don't be on your phone. The cell phone is the biggest distraction since the Trojan horse. It provides nothing but words and sounds that are completely irrelevant to the session at hand. No one wants to hear random TikToks while they're working on their craft. And you tend to have bad posture while using it in the engineer chair. So don't do that. Don't stay seated for too long. Look, man, unless you went and cashed out on a Herman Miller, Get up. Take a moment to stand up every now and then. Artists can record for hours and I will leave you grounded to the chair at the desk. So make sure you're being active. It will enhance mental clarity and provide you more energy to last through the session. All right, let's get to the do's. Now I've owned and operated a recording studio since I was 19 and now I'm 27. I realize that these are the skills that have helped me in life, not just in the studio. Be a people person. I cannot stress this enough. I've made more money and more connections just by being a good person. We're not even talking about how good I am on Pro Tools or how nice my studio is. Shameless plug. I just get a high off leaving a good impression on people and good energy will bring people back to you. Simple. Learn to service people. Like it or not, you are in the service industry. Now, unless you're recording and mixing for a robot friend or AI, you have to understand how to service people. This kind of goes with being a good person, but there are more business fundamentals involved. Understand that people have lives outside of your profession, as do you. So if something happens where a client just cancels a session, just refund them. Chances are they will come back to you just off the strength of you being flexible. And I understand that you have a strict cancellation policy, but bro, their pet lizard just died. Be considerate, give them their $40 back. And if you absolutely cannot survive without keeping their deposit, the next one is for you. Charge what you're worth. Now this is simple and it will vary person to person. Consumers tend to look at everything as a price tag until they obtain it. Follow me for a second. Then and only then will they understand its true value past the dollar amount. Once you spend money on something, then you can truly analyze for yourself if it was actually worth the dollar amount you spent. Give excellent service and then people will think that you're charging too little and that they're getting a good deal. Give poor service and then people will feel like their money and time was wasted. I value giving my clients a good experience, which goes beyond the craft of making music. Which brings us to our last category, the mindsets. Love what you can do for a project, even if you don't love the project. If you've been collaborating in music for long enough, chances are you've run into a project that you're not too big on. If you're in a position to decline the project, well, kudos to you, but some of us got bills. That was a joke, don't get offended. If you can't find something that you like about the song that you're recording or mixing for a client, Remember that you are the engineer that they hired for a reason. And I'm sure you love using nice shiny plugins that will make even the worst notes sound amazing. So hone into that. Get the project done and make the client happy. Not every song will be a hit. And trust your gut, usually you are the smartest engineer in the room. Otherwise, you probably won't be engineering in that room. Unless you're the intern that filled in while the main engineer was taking a leak, which I actually gotta do right now. So go watch this video. I'll see you next time. I thought I was recording this video for my YouTube, but then I got up and I realized I was not even recording. So, uh, probably about to blow my brains out. That's what.